Now, if this was a customer's car coming into the shop, the very first thing I would do would be test drive the vehicle and note down anything that I heard or felt on the test drive and see if it was related to the customer's concern. But knowing that this is a noise that is related to the engine and it changes with engine RPM, the first thing I am going to try and do is to try and locate where the noise is coming from. And there are several different tools that we can use to help us try and do this. Let's take a look at those. Okay, so there are a couple of different tools that you can use to help you try and figure this out. The first one we're going to bring up is the stethoscope. Uh, this looks like your doctor's stethoscope, except ours has a rod on it with an extension piece that will help you pinpoint into smaller, smaller spots on the motor to help you try and figure out where the noise is coming from. Now, if you don't have one of these and you're in a pinch, you can also use your standard screwdriver. Uh, try and get one that has a longer rod on it so you can get into small and tight spots. Uh, and what you're gonna be doing is basically holding it up to your ear like this and trying to find where the noise is loudest. Now, another thing that you can use that I prefer is a rubber hose. Now with this rubber hose, you're gonna do the same thing you would with the other two. Hold it up to your ear and you're gonna try and pinpoint the location. And what I like about the rubber hose is, is you're actually having the sound waves travel up through the tube and into your ear. And I feel it gives you a little bit better of an idea of where the noise is coming from. So what you're gonna see next is me use a couple of these tools to try and figure out where this noise is coming from. Let's do it. I think that's where it's at. All right. Okay, so it was much louder on the clutch cover than it was in the crank area and also in the cam drive with the timing chain and the cams. I did hear it in this area, but it was way quieter than it was here. And I expect it to resonate through because the uh, crankshaft on these has a gear on it that rotates the clutch assembly so or the clutch basket assembly so i'm hoping that the clutch basket bearings are what have failed and if that's the case that would be a pretty easy fix so the next thing we need to do is to let the bike cool down and then go take it for a test drive and see if we notice anything with the clutch when it's cold so the next thing we're going to do is test drive it All right, it is now time for the test drive, and what we are looking out for is anything in particular that sounds abnormal or feels abnormal with the motorcycle. So let's do this. I'm gonna do this while it's kind of cold because it's worse when the bike is cool. So, and you hear the noise. So let's pay attention to anything with the clutch. I have noticed prior to riding this bike that, uh, when engine braking under load, the noise is worse. So I may have to ride it when it's even colder out to try and see.
it's really hard to say because when I pull the clutch in, obviously the engine's going to spin down. Okay, I got an idea. It's engine brake. Okay, I feel that. And I don't feel it that way. So I feel an engine braking with the clutch in, but if I rev it up, I don't really feel it through the handlebars. Let's try this again. bike is warming up so it's starting to get a little bit better in the vibration aspect it's still pretty loud when I was riding the bike the other day that's way off, uh, I actually had a little weird thing happen with the clutch it was kind of like it slipped or like didn't engage it was it was weird but kind of hard to describe I can maybe post it from the video that I did just felt weird and then it didn't act up at all after that and it's not really acting up right now everything feels pretty good I can't really discern from anything else that's abnormal aside from the little vibration when it was very f cold to begin with um, but I don't feel that anymore and I tried to experiment with it but I'm not sure if I got to it in time by pulling in the clutch but keeping the rpm steady so I could see if it changed or not under load because under load it's definitely worse but obviously if I pull the clutch in you know it's not under load but the RPMs are going to drop as well so I'm trying to keep the RPMs up and see if it changes and it kind of doesn't really change from what I can tell so that kind of makes me wonder if it is indeed that clutch basket or not anymore um, just because it doesn't really exhibit anything although like I said I did have that issue with the clutch the one time shut my mask a little too late I got hit with the bug right in the mouth right before I shut it that was gross and there is the bug right there nasty exploded on my lip thankfully my mouth wasn't completely open Flies are tasty. Just kidding. Alright, I'm shutting this now before I get hit in the face with something else. Still hear the noise though a little bit. It's definitely way more faint than it was, but that's what happens once it warms up. So I'm running about 179, pretty much operating temperature 180, I would assume the thermostat opens at. And uh it's pretty standard now. I don't feel anything abnormal with the bike. But it makes me wonder if I should at least get in and inspect that clutch basket bearing. Just because it sounded like that noise was coming from that area. Uh, so maybe the next step to take for part two of this uh, series would be to pull the clutch cover off and inspect the clutch basket for bearing play. And if I don't feel any, pull the clutch um, basket apart, all the clutch discs out, and pressure plate off. And uh, visually, and uh, I guess use my hand and kind of test and see if the bearing has any roughness to it. Would be the only other thing I could do. Um, also, I would need to check and make sure the oil pump bearings don't have any play because there is a chain that runs off of the back of the clutch basket to the oil pump assembly so I will need to check those things out which will be in part two of this series so if you guys like what you've seen so far please hit the like button subscribe and uh, please stay tuned because there's a lot more to come this season thanks for watching the Grimm's Motovlog channel peace